an animal attack. That doesn't make sense. We're still trying to establish exactly what happened, but I'm afraid there's not much doubt that your husband was murdered. Do you have any idea what he might have been doing out in the woods so late at night? I would say taking Ollie for a walk, but he brought him back about ten. And then went out again. Didn't that strike you as odd? Not particularly. We have problems with poachers, and it's only a couple of nights since the truffles were stolen. Truffles? About £10,000 worth, Martin said, all dug up overnight. Did he report it? I assume so. And this morning, weren't you alarmed when you realised your husband hadn't come home? I didn't realise. Although, come to think of it, Ollie was whining to go out. Martin very often slept in the spare room. We keep very different hours, and he snores. He used to snore. Had Mr Strickland fallen out with anyone lately? Probably. He usually had. There was something going on with the restaurant people, I believe. Which restaurant would that be? Wyvern House used to be the family home once upon a time. We still own the freehold. What was the dispute about? I really don't know. Do you have any children, Mrs Strickland? No. Uh, Martin does have a daughter from his first marriage. She works at Wyvern House, as it happens. I suppose I really ought to call the poor girl. Well done, everybody. Really well done. Nick, the scallops for table two were cooked for 15 seconds too long. Amy, you mangled a perfectly good partridge breast and your creme anglaise was running. But generally, excellent work. Sorry. Camilla, what do you want? Let me know when you trace the number. Thanks. What's up, Charlie boy? Martin Strickland's last phone call was to an agricultural supplies company. So? He's a farmer. The call was placed at 11.13 at night. What do you farm here? Beef cattle, mostly. And Martin runs some commercial shoots up in the woods. Pheasant, deer, wild boar, that kind of thing. Camilla, do you know where Martin is? I've not seen him all morning. Martin's dead, Jamie. Oh, my God, that's terrible. Sorry, sir, you are... Jamie. Weston. Jamie worked for Martin. Well, for me now, I suppose. Excuse me. Nelson? Sir, Strickland's phone lists his last call as an agricultural supplies company. But it turns out the number actually belongs to an Angela Linklater, landlady of the village pub. Make mine a half. Sir? 